G-Man, consider yourself evicted. You won't talk to me. You won't listen to me. You're continuing to do this fucking tirade. Consider yourself evicted. Get the fuck out of my house. Pack your shit and go. Now. G-Man, consider yourself evicted. You won't talk to me. You won't listen to me. You're continuing to do this fucking tirade. Consider yourself evicted. Get the fuck out of my house. Pack your shit and go. Now. My bad, guys. I apologize. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Sewing and Reaping YouTube channel. I already said that. Y'all didn't hear me. Uh, it's funny how I even heard about this video that uh, Rev made. I came from work. I wanted to play with my PS4 a little bit. And um, I get a notification on my phone late that Rev wanted to confront me i go to listen to the video doc dropping nothing new there even though i've asked him not to do it he um he said some things and we're gonna respond to these things uh it, there's a reason why it says i don't get high and i don't drink that is not a knock on any of my audience members but that is to remind rev that i'm working with a full faculty all right um uh, I'm going to be responding to you. I'm going to call you Rev, uh, Rev, because I'm not in the mood to put your business out there the way I the way I probably should. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to respond to some of the things. I'm not going to say stupid things because I want to be a good G man. Uh, I'm, I'm going to respond to some of the things that you said in this video. And I'm going to do it the only way I know how to do it. And that's by being me. Okay. And I'm going to respond to you point by point by point to the stuff I actually care about. Okay. But before we do that, Rev, um, you do understand that history that you gave everybody and what exists on social media and what I've explained to people and what's come out of your own woman's mouth are two entirely different stories, right? I'm just letting you know, dude, this is not going to this is not going to end well. All right. So you're you're basically demanding your stuff back. Right. If I'm not mistaken. And we'll listen to the video here in a minute. What is it? Your lightsabers and uh, your ever drives and um, a couple of other things and whatnot. You're demanding it because you're ticked off and, 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 and you're angry and you're mad and, you know, and, and all this other stuff and whatnot. Right. Um. I don't know how to respond to this, but then again, I, I didn't. I, I haven't had enough time to process what uh, he said in that video. Even though I think I lost some brain cells, but anyway, which one of these we gonna look at first? Let me see. Let's look at the claim first. Let's let's do that first. You know, because they, they were so loving to me and everything and whatnot, and you know, and I was homeless according to them. Chandy, to this very day, I don't know why you keep saying that mess, but you know, I was homeless according to you. I had nowhere to live, according to you. Can't say Rev, because Rev was on his wet brain or whatever. You know what I mean? So um, let me uh, screen share. <laughs> let me screen share this video with them making their claims. And then I'll get quite serious as this video goes on. The only way I know how, and that's by being myself. <sighs> By the way, hello to the audience. I see a lot of you guys saying hello. How you doing? I have to get through a lot of stuff here real quick. So let me just let me just get to this because they changed their story again. So let's uh, get to all of this. And, and I think I know why they made their videos. 
We'll get to that at the end, 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 end of the video. But there's more going on there than a lot of you may think. But let's um, get to his Rev confronts G-Man nonsense here real quick. Uh, you know what I should do? I really should do a G-Man versus the world on this channel. Ah! So many people to crush so little time. But anyway, let's play the video here and listen to what this human has to say. Which I'm not saying is a bad thing. You're just setting your ways, and that's the way it is with you. So fine. You know in your spirit that you had two people that literally gave you a house for a dollar. And now we're destitute. Horribly destitute. Okay, so the first claim is, is that he gave me the house for a dollar. <clears throat> Let's deal with that first. Yes, legally, the house was sold to me for one dollar. Let's just get that out the way. You got something right, Rev. Congratulations. You sold me the house for one dollar. Now, the other stuff that you're going to say, and this is going to be total horse manure, but anyway, let's continue. Oh, I'm sorry. And now the two of you are destitute. Okay, you sold me the house for a dollar, and the two of you are destitute. Let's get to your, your logic here, sir. Due, due to multiple reasons. Due to multiple reasons. He won't state what those multiple reasons are, but I will. <laughs> I will. You guys don't know how to you don't know how to handle your money. You were spending your money on a bunch of stupid stuff. You were wasting your money on 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 buying expensive stuff for Shani and, 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 and for her kids and getting high every other day. You know what I mean? Getting in and out of court because your woman didn't know how to stay out of trouble with you going to court because you didn't know how to stay out of trouble uh, and various other things. Your woman doing all these hauls when you was only getting about $5,000 a month. Now, mind you, that's still fairly new information to me because I never really knew what that exact amount was until, you know, I got into these archive thingies and whatnot. But I would at least be able to sell that house if I didn't give it to you. And I. And okay. So Rev, you said that you would have been able to sell that house if you did not give it to me. That my friend is a lie. If I'm not mistaken, the back taxes on that particular house that was in your name, sir, came out to about, let me see something here. Uh, it was about, um, what was it? Uh, was it 11, 15? I think it was pretty close to about 20 grand, if I'm not mistaken, back taxes that you didn't pay. Then there's all of the fines that you got for not doing simple things like mowing your lawn. I mean, you had the money. To, to hire people to go there and keep the grass low, but you couldn't even do that. I mean, the average person would have took about 50 bucks from you every two weeks to cut the grass, at least. I got some really interesting videos I can show these people that just how high your grass really was. Could have grown corn on that mess. You know what I mean? So, according to you, uh, you could have sold the house. No, 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 actually, no, you couldn't. Have. Not until the back taxes was paid because yours truly did that. Anyway, let's continue. Me and her would be in a we'd be, be in our own apartment and, and I'd have some resources where I could have a stable job that I could definitely. Well, stop right there. So you could have sold the house. You would have been able to, you, you, you would have been able to get an apartment and you would have been able to have, uh, you know, some, some resources had you kept that house. No, if you would have kept the house, the city would have took it. You would have lived with your uncle and you would still be destitute. That's just the facts, my friend. Let's continue. And Rev, I hope you're listening to this. Because you can't refute nothing I'm saying. You know I got the paperwork to prove it, Junior. Uh, not get fired from because of my bipolar. 33 people. God bless y'all. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> and, and, and then you think that you would be able to get a job and not get fired because of your bipolar if you would have simply kept the house and sold it. Uh, and then you would have had resources to get an apartment. This delusional nonsense. Okay. You wasn't going to be able to sell nothing because the place wasn't even up to par. You got to remember when you gave me that place, Rev, that place wasn't really worth a whole lot. I had to fix it up. I had to fix that place up. It wasn't like you just gave me a house. And then I just, when I put a lot of money into that place, I put a lot of money into that place. The first time you guys kicked me out of there, which we're all going to talk about soon enough, Rev, because like I said, dude, you're making stuff up. But I want you to get to the juicy part about how you and you and Shannon cared about G Man. I, I I really want you to get to that part so I can get my laugh on. Let's let's let's, let's hear this real quick. 
in here. Well, 23? 23, sorry, 23. God bless you. Thanks for the hearts. We provided. We just gave it freely. Yeah, you just gave it freely. You just freely gave me the house. And Rev, this is the part that you and the Minnesota Barracuda won't really. Uh, and by the way, I'm 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 done being nice. I just gotta be me. I mean, if you're gonna dot drop me on this stream, then you had to know that was coming. So according to the Minnesota Barracuda, I just gave it to me for free, right? Just gave it to me. It wasn't a bribe. It wasn't something to try to stop me from talking about Jesus on the internet. It wasn't about trying to control me or nothing like that. Jimmy can't prove none of this stuff. This stuff doesn't exist on the archive channels. I can't screen share you. Actually, I'm going to do just that and prove that's exactly what was going on. As a matter of fact, I was illegally evicted from that place by your woman. And I'm going to prove that. But like I said, I'm give you the benefit of the doubt. We're going to keep letting you talk because you gave it to me from the kindness of your own heart. Let's continue. Did you have us in your house for a little while, feeding us ramen noodles until we die, almost were dead? Yeah. <laughs> so let me get this straight here. You thought I was giving you oodles and noodles. For those of you, let's do a little bit of a, let's do a little game here real quick, guys. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> according to Jason, according to Rev, uh, I guess y'all can say I'm at 25% right now. Yeah, I think uh, we can say that I'm about... 25 percent right now before i go off on this computer here all right so let me get this straight rev you're telling me this is the only thing i fed you rev and that's ramen when i took you food shopping are you trying to suggest that this was the only thing i gave you rev that's a little bit and actually that's a lot intellectually dishonest you're lying dude okay i guess we forgot about the two or three hundred dollars that the two or the three hundred dollars I used to spend on you when we used to go to Walmart and I used to buy you tuna. I used to buy you guys bread. I used to buy you guys all kinds of different meats, hamburger meat, hot dog meat. And obviously, your woman don't cook, so you guys. I think you, a lot of y'all threw that stuff into the deep fryer, but we'll get to that one in a minute. Sat there and buy, bought you all the junk food you could possibly want. You guys, I mean, like, like, like I gave you guys food, food, in which you hoarded it all in your room and everything. And then you would tell me to stop buying you food because you wanted to make sure. You wanted to make sure I had enough to get you a big bag of tobacco. And you wanted to make sure I had enough to get you Delta 8 when I was ignorant about it, right? Rev, if you're going to tell the story, dude, tell the story. This was not what you was eating, dude. I mean, honestly, there are videos where I show people some of the things that I bought, you liar. Watermelon? Hi, watermelon. Hey, watermelon. Hey, watermelon. Come on. Come on, Rev. Keep looking over there for your approval from your woman. You guys you can just keep making stuff up. You know what I mean? Let's continue. I've been literally feeling like in my spirit. And you want to know what? This makes me really, really feel a certain kind of way. I know what kind of person I am. I know what I'm willing to do. And I know what I'm not willing to do. I think I'm pretty much an open door. I'm so obvious a Stevie Wonder can see the kind of person that I am. You know what I mean? But to hear this guy get on YouTube, and not on YouTube, yeah. to get on his, what the heck is he on anyway? Uh, Instagram, right? To get on Instagram and say all this nonsense about me that's not even true. Like, honestly, even my enemies should know better than this for crying out loud. Go ahead. That this guy needs a spiritual even flow DDT fucking Raven style. I take the I take the fucking steel chair and I smash your fucking face off it spiritually. Even flow one two. J Rev, I'm putting that in the memory bank there. That's in the memory bank. One day I'm gonna give you the opportunity to do it. We're gonna see if you're gonna do it. Two, three one day. in the ring, G. You're fucking done. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want. I want my mini PlayStation. Before we talk about what you want. Let's talk about what happened when I lived there the first time, all right? Because I wasn't homeless. I lost my job. There's a big difference with that, okay? She and he found out I lost my job. Obviously, she was against uh, Dragnut and the other people that was going up against her. She and he called me up. I did not call her up. I didn't know nothing about no house. I, see, here's the thing about you two. Y'all want y'all life to be so private, but then y'all invite everybody into your lives. Y'all called me, and y'all told me, he said, gee, man, you know, uh, uh, we, we got this TV for you. And I know y'all sick of hearing this dumb story. But anyway, G-Man, we got this TV for you. 
I was gonna go up there and go get the TV. And then she called me back and said, no, G-Man, we're gonna give you a house. I told her to take that video down because it was idiotic and stupid for her to say something like that uh, on her channel at the time when I had so many bloody haters coming at me at the time. You know what I mean? Uh, I think um, the, the right people saw it. Sabella definitely saw it. And I think a couple of other people saw it, although I cannot find that video. My life depended on me. But uh, um, uh, a, a drag talked about it a little bit. And some other people talked about it a little bit. I went up there in person to go look at the house. And um, obviously, I told this story a million times. Uh, there's a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood. You know what I mean? It was a predominantly Caucasian. It is a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood. I mean, it was. It is a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood. Uh, and um, I was not trying to go into a, into a house with a locked door. Like, like, And then there was a police officer living directly across the street from <laughs> directly the street from these people. So I obviously had to call Shandy and Rev to get, and get permission to break into the house so I can actually stay there and whatnot. What they'll tell you is, is I never got permission from them. You know what I mean? And I just broke into it in a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood with a police officer across the street. <laughs> that, like I said, you can't make up the stupid that these two uh, uh, I'll be bringing up. But, but I want y'all to take a look at what happened when I lost the place because I got it for a little bit. Me and Shani and them was on good terms and everything. And I ain't want to pick up the telephone. All right. Or rather, I wasn't constantly being on her phone thingy or whatever. You know what I mean? And let me show you. Um, you got to forgive me for being lazy with this because I'm sick and tired of these two. So anyway, let me um, <laughs> let me show everybody this video again. Of how I got kicked out of that house. I already showed you guys the opener. Let me show you this one again. This is basically a yelling match between me and Shani. So let me just get to this one here. Here we go. This is Shani wanting to kick me out because I made a YouTube video. Uh, actually, I think this she used this as an excuse. But I made a YouTube video against this guy called Jesus uh, H. Christ who um, was pretending to be Jesus. That video is on YouTube. You can actually watch that in its entirety where I responded to it and Shani didn't like it, okay? And then she didn't like the fact that I was doing what I was doing before she gave me the house and she wanted to try to throw her weight around. So this is the video here. You can go to Godless Girls channel and you can actually watch it. This is also on, I'm gonna think about it. I don't know what other channel has this. But anyway, let me play this. Here's Shani, I think. Hold on a minute. Let me broadcast you before we get all night because I already know it. Okay, so 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 what is your problem with me now, Shani? You are beyond lying about me, first of all. Beyond lying. All right. Beyond. Beyond, beyond lying. Right. Mm -hmm. Do I need to reimburse you? Reimburse you of what, bitch? Oh, brother. You Number one, you're on a Christian channel. Can you please stop cussing on my channel? By the way, Shani. No. It wasn't that long ago that you was almost homeless yourself because of the issues that was going on with you and your mother. I just want to put that, you know, out there and whatnot and how you literally got on your hands and knees and you were begging Rev to be your man. I just want to put that out there. You know what I mean? Then you got him. Then you forgot where you came from. All right. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, no, 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 no. You're in my house. Be a so channel of the Lord, okay. and I would appreciate it. You're in my house. I see my channel. channel. I'll get my to house. My channel. Using my electricity and using my water and using every single thing for you. You better believe it. At this time, Shani was paying. Well, they claimed they were paying for the water, and they claimed that they were paying for the electricity. But uh, at that time, she was doing that. So she's right about that. But she thinks because she was doing that, that means that she could tell me what I can do on my YouTube channel, what I can't do on my channel, which is stupid. Help you out, because I saw you were a believer in Christ. I thought you wouldn't need someone. Okay, Shannon Stout, if you're watching this, Shannon Stout, this is the, I want you to pay attention to this. So you believe cussing's okay then? Okay, cool. Okay, because you pay for everything that gives you permission to cuss and whatnot. Tell me, how are you any different from your mother right now? But keep acting like that right now. Go ahead. You want to talk about this, Shannon? Let's talk about this. Why did you give me this house? Because I thought you were doing good work for the Lord. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Shut the <laughs> fuck up about the Bible. I love Jesus. I don't, I don't you want to talk to me. I'm not going to talk to you. 
Matthew chapter 6. So anyway, this will save you guys a little bit of time and energy. Basically, uh, Rev, uh, in case you forgot about this, uh, if you go watch the video in its entirety, your woman was mad about me. You're going to love this, Rev. Uh, you know, I, I, every now and then your memory needs to be jogged because she gave me money and I was supposed to pay for a phone bill and I didn't pay for it. And that was cause for an eviction. Now, Pennsylvania has laws, right? And you tried to throw me out of there because, A, she didn't like the content on my YouTube channel. And then, B, apparently I didn't take $50 to pay a phone bill. And I decided to use blog talk. And we've been through all of that stuff on here. We're not going to go through it all that no more and whatnot. But that's ultimately why I got kicked out, according to you. And uh, she, actually, that's not the real reasons. I mean, it's we talked since then. You know, uh, on the other phone, we know that a certain somebody told you I did some things to certain people on here that I never did. And it triggered your barracuda and caused her to throw me out of there. That's the real reason we both know this. Okay. But it gets a little bit crazier, Rev. I, I want you to take a look at this here a minute. Okay. I have another video that you apparently forgot all about. Okay. As and no, 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 no. As a matter of fact, actually, no, 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 no. We are going to look at this. Let's take a look at the video on Fat Courtney Loves YouTube channel. This video is short. It's about three or four minutes. It's called G-Man's Mark by God Destroys Shani for Christ. So let's take a look at this. And I give you clips of my uh, of, of the things that Shani said and how I destroyed her when I got out the house or whatever. So let's play this video here real quick. Pay attention, lad. You're about to get that chicken on my hair, dude. One minute, Shani's a diva. But may I say, I am a motherfucking diva. And I don't lie. You was a divorce broke diva uh, long before you ever got with Rev. And then you got with Rev and you forgot where you came from. If you want to get technical, let's continue. Some fucking fool scrub calling up my phone or freaking blowing up my phone with text messages being desperate the next minute she isn't so you ruining a ministry that i've been holding on to for a really long time because everyone should know by now that i am a petty bitch are you fucking retarded is that what it is? Or stupid? I'm desperate for a mom. <laughs> not anymore, I'm not. What were we going to do for money if you gave your stupid fucking mother our money? I don't know. Wait, I'm just trying to be world. a good daughter. I mean, let's just keep it real. You're a slut. Oh, I just have really big titties, you know, the ones that you want. And you. I mean, let's keep it super real. You don't even know the laws when it comes to evictions. G-Man, consider yourself evicted. You won't talk to me. You won't listen to me. You're continuing to do this fucking tirade. Consider yourself evicted. Get the fuck out of my house. Pack your shit and go. So, so Rev, why was I kicked out the house, Rev? Just out of curiosity. Why was I kicked out of that house the first time, Rev? It wasn't because of nothing I did. It was because that stupid, that stupid, wide open mind woman that you're with thought she could control me if she gave me a house. And she was planning on replacing you. But to this very day, you're too dumb to see that. But let's continue. Now. So I was thinking about this. In fact, your woman is so dumb, she got on social media and wanted to figure out as many lies that she could tell the police as possible to get me thrown out of there. And yes, the police came here, the, sir, the sheriff department came here, they all came here. We all got a laugh on because apparently I was supposed to get out because I was supposed to get out. It was just all kinds of stupid. It was a civil matter and, and, and we had to go to court. And you know this woman didn't want to use any of this man's money to actually do anything like that. If anything, to get that man out of my house, I can throw, and this is all video documented, 
a noise and nuisance. Here's complaint. the thing: your woman tried to get me thrown out based on a noise and nuisance complaint, uh, Rev. But isn't that why you two lost your apartment? Everything that you guys literally tried to do to me has happened to you. In my home, that will get him evicted quick, because there are pl there's plenty of video evidence of him yelling and screaming in my house. You're a lover of money, you're a racist, and your head is a little bit too big because you're spending Rev's money too fast. Especially when you're dealing with two white rich people compared to one poor black man. I mean, logically speaking, G-Man. It's 2019 and I still don't know who gave me that house. Was it you, Shani, or was it Rev? You keep saying that you gave me something that wasn't yours, but listen to what you're about to say. Fuck you, G-Man. Like, seriously, fuck you. Fuck you. You keep bashing people, men who have long fucking hair. When the person who gave you a fucking house has fucking long hair. Or had long hair. You want to know what's interesting about this all, Rev? You always tell people that you don't remember what happened because you had wet brain. Yet and still, you claim that you have all of this memory about what was happening during your time with wet brain regarding the reasons on why the house was taken away from me. You didn't have to give it to me from the beginning, but you decided to do it anyway, right? You gave me the house. You watched me fix it up. Now, another theory that I've always had is, is that Shani thought she was slick because a lot of people do this mess. They'll try to give somebody a house or somewhere to live or whatever and then get them to fix it up. And once it's fixed up and they feel like they can sell it, they'll throw you out because several neighbors told me that there were real that there were realtors that tried to, that, that that tried to do something with that house before you gave it back to me the second time. Cut the baloney, Rev. You could not afford, I'm sorry, you couldn't afford to pay the back taxes. And by law, you wasn't able to sell the house until the back taxes was paid. You stupid, okay? Anyway, so with that being said, let's go back to the video and listen to his list of demands of the things that he wants back. Because I am going to have a lot of fun responding to that one. Maybe a little bit too much fun. And if you're a Christian and you're watching this for the first time and you've never seen me respond to this, let me let me apologize to you first and foremost, but these two deserve an epic G smack of epic proportions, and they need it over and 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 over again, okay? Until they wake up and smell the coffee. All right. So let's go back to this video and look at the great JWE confront G man, and let's see how he does it. I think I'm at about eighty percent. I think now. So let's get to this here. All right, so which one of these is it? Okay, Rev confronts the G-Man. Here we go. Now, let's get back to this stupidity here, ladies and gents, because I love listening to legal matters when it comes to him, because uh, not legal matters, listening to moral matters from a man who doesn't show anyone, no re who doesn't show nobody respect, a man who claims he's married when he's not married, a man who claims he's a man when he's really an adolescent boy and don't know anything. So let's continue with the video, shall we? The PlayStation games. I want my N64. You want your N64 game and you want your PlayStation games. Let me make sure I got this right here. The PS1 and the N64. What, what, what exactly else do you want, Rev? And by the way, if you think I'm this stupid, watch this video until the end. Because I got a very special response from him directly from his own woman. Anyway, let's continue. We're back with the N64 EverDrive. I want my Genesis back with the Genesis EverDrive. So let me get this right here. You want your Genesis back with the EverDrive. You want the PlayStation 1 back with the with, with, and then the N64 EverDrive. Basically, you want some of your games back, right? Just want to make sure I understand this. Because I, if I'm not mistaken, didn't you guys say that the reason why... Oh, anyway, I want to spoil it. Let's continue. I want my... Shani Blazers, the Star Wars game. Shani wants... Uh, Jedi Fallen Order back. So, so Shani wants Jedi Fallen Order back. Oh, okay. What else? What else would you like, uh, JWE? Shani wants her GameCube back with all the games. She wants her GameCube back with all the games. Oh, okay. I think I know what she's talking about. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. You stole that from us. Oh, and then I stole it from you guys. 
I stole the um the GameCube from you. Oh, that's interesting, Shani, because that ain't what you said not that long ago. But anyway, let's continue. That's it, G. This is theft because you never this called me, me to try. Let me get this straight here. Let me get this straight here. You're destitute. You're about to face homelessness. You're broke. And all you're concerned about is video games? I want to make sure I understand this correctly here. Okay? You're destitute, staring at homelessness right in the face. And what you're concerned about is video games, right? Rev, don't ever ask me to make a video response again because I'm going to hurt your feelings in this video, dude. I'm really am. Anyway, let's continue. Try and set up a day to come and get stuff. Now wait, 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 wait. you're telling me you're you're demanding that 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 I set up a day and I come over there. Uh, how exactly would you want this done, Red? <laughs> the time I take a list because this is serious for your spirit. If you this is serious for my spirit, really, it's serious for my spirit to make sure two future homeless people get games, right? Okay, I got you, Rev. I totally understand, dude. Totally understand. What two people who are facing homelessness need is video games. Okay, let's continue. You do this, I you'll be cool with God because it will it will show that you have a modicum, a little bit of respect, just a little. Okay, so I don't drink and I don't do drugs. Uh, I'm working with a full capacity here. And uh, Rev, I, I don't know if you remember this or not. You remember the Twitch? Well, what is it that Dragnut used to call this? The the Twitch saga, right? And I know you're watching this. But if I'm not mistaken, during the Twitch saga, <laughs> did you forget the video I made when I offered to give you back your house? Because I didn't. I offer you back your house. Fixed in everything. You just had to drop Shanny and you had to get a job. A couple other things, too, you had to do. But, of course, you didn't want to do that because you would rather be homeless and destitute than to live without that barracuda, right? But anyway, that's not even here. That, that's, not, that, that, that's not even important. During the Twitch saga, you guys said several things about these video games that you're talking about right now, all right? And you said, I deserve an even flow to a steel chair to the head. Rev, some of the stuff I'm going to say in this video is going to hurt your feelings, dude. But you know what? Anyway, so let's 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 do a little bit more of the stupidity first. For the two people that kept you off the street and gave you a house, I was never facing the street, you moron. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> gave you a house for a dollar, which then I returned to you. The dollar. So let me get this straight here. He decided to dress like this behave like this and act like this so he can get his video games all right some some video games that he wanted to give me rev you're a piece of work dude you're definitely what we would call an indian giver or whatever but uh like i said that, that's all fine and well but the problem is is that your woman said something on twitch that i'm gonna remind you of okay because apparently neither one of you did any research before you did this little video here but anyway let's continue because i'm enjoying your stupidity here i'm really enjoying it and you want to know what this? I'm watching this from Graveyard Flowers. I could have watched it from um, Drama Clip Dump. By the way, go check that out. Uh, but you know, this is appropriate. This whole headstone right here, and and what they're saying about you guys right now is totally appropriate for the level of stupidity coming out of your mouth right now, Junior. By the way, I must admit, your uncle's house is looking very nice. You're lucky I didn't buy it. Has ever anybody ever talked to you like this, Gary, in your life? Rev, uh, I actually grew up with parents that disciplined me when I was wrong about things or when I did things wrong. I actually know the difference between right and wrong. And you want to know what else? I also understand that there are consequences for my actions. I understand that. My question for you is, did your mother talk to you like this? Like when you were growing up and you were just a small JWE? Did your mother ever tell you that you had to get a job when you became an adult? Did your mother ever tell you, Rev? And Rev, the reason why I'm doing this, Rev, is because if you're going to be a jerk to me, I'm going to be real with you. See, I believe in love, but I also believe in tough love. 
I believe I believe in giving you so much tough love that it's going to force you to never mention G-Man on your pathetic Instagram ever again. I just want to put that out there, okay? In which you have accomplished nothing except for don't vote for Trump. Don't vote for Trump. Don't vote for Trump. Oh, and by the way, Rev, I've been wanting to say this to you for a little bit since you're watching this. Now you're a commie? Mm-hmm. That woman definitely doing you some good as a commie, right? Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, yeah, I had people talk to, talk to me way worse than this. This, this right here is grade school, dude. You ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I suspect there has been. How's that Obama phone doing, Rev? <laughs> that old, I'm pretty sure that's what you're using to make this video or not, right? Your Obama phone, right? You'll be pretty mad at me if I showed you what I was using. But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> oh, you give me a response video for sure. And I'll probably watch that one. And you want to try and equate the stuff that you gave us to a $160,000 house. Okay. So according to my calculations, when I first got that house, uh, before I fix anything, you know, when your roof was, in, was, was, was imploding and your ceiling in your kitchen was all over the floor <laughs> and in the room where your mother used to sleep, that ceiling was on the floor and it was all this rainwater in there and there was all this raccoon poop and all this stuff in the house. It, I mean, if you want to talk about what the house was worth when I originally got it, maybe 25, 40 grand at the most, I fixed it. Because I do something you never learned how to do. It's called work. I'm not a fucking idiot. Uh, you uh, uh, hold on a minute. You weigh about 150, maybe 160 in weight. Your woman weighs about a thousand pounds and she refuses to go on a diet. She beats you up. She spent $750,000 of your money. Yes, you are an idiot, Rev. See, instead of you making these videos about G-Man and talking about G-Man, why don't you, sir, turn around, grow a set, and tell that to your woman? Oh, that's right. You already did, but you still love her. That's why you, you're still with her and whatnot. My bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> you only get liquid courage when, when, when she tries to embarrass you on camera. Oh, my bad. Because we know you ain't got no balls. You know, I'm the only man that's ever been in Shani's life that never put up with her nonsense. I got you, Chris, and Doug beat on that one, bub. <laughs> you gave us fucking pennies <laughs> in comparison to what you got. Really? And you know it. Really? Really? Okay, so let's let's test that theory out a minute. Since you know what, hold on a minute, guys. Hold on. I'm about to whip his behind. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold up a minute. Hold on. So let me get this straight here. Let me get this straight here. So, and I don't care if nobody watches this video because I'm about to black out on this guy. Maybe I'll lose subscribers for this. I don't know. Let me get this straight here. It was pennies compared to what you did. Let me talk about what you did in this entirety. We're going to count Cash App. We're going to count the house. We're going to count everything that you and your Minnesota Barracuda ever did for me. All right? So let's get into this here, okay? Number one, you gave me a house. But when you gave me the house, the air conditioners was on for four straight months. They was going to condemn the house because your roof was imploding. The, the kitchen's roof was imploding. The basement was filled with water and all kinds of trash and whatnot. And the place was falling apart. There is video evidence on here that, that when Shani called the house a piece of crap over and over and over and over again. Right? So you gave me a house, but it needed a lot. And I mean a lot of work. Took a lot of muscle relaxers uh, over a period of time to be able to do the work with that because I had to do a lot of heavy lifting myself and get some of my contractor friends who worked on credit to get it fixed before you threw me out the first time over your jealous behind woman wanting to know what I was doing every moment of the day. She gave me uh, 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 money for food two or three times. She paid for a phone bill one time. And what else did she do? I don't want to forget nothing. I don't want to forget nothing. Food, phone bill, and I think that's about it, right? So now let's take a look at what G-Man 
did for your Rudy Poe candy behind. Let's talk about, since you want to be a wrestler, since you want to talk about being a wrestler, dude, first of all, Raven sucks. He's barely in the WWE Hall of Fame, and I, I don't even think he's there. So let The Rock hit you with some facts, my friend. First of all, when you two was in Boulder, Colorado, who was paying your bills, Junior? Who It wasn't you. It wasn't you, rich boy. Who? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? We'll call you Richie Rich. It wasn't you, Richie Rich. It was G-Man. And I told you I didn't want your house. That You could take that house and shove it up your rear end. I told you that in private. I told you that in public. And I did it over. And I did it over. And I did it over. And I did it over again. Especially when GTV was still up. All right? Paid your bills when you was over there. Gave your money when you had no money over there. When you were struggling over there, over there in Colorado, you was about to be on the street in Colorado. You know, when G-Man, who can't afford the doctors, and, and going through all this G-Man's rabbit and shanty slave nonsense uh, 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 by, by Dragnut and the Geek Room and the rest of these other morons on the internet. So let's take it a step further. Then you guys go through the drug the road trip. You really took the road trip, and you come all the way to Pennsylvania, you know, after She-Hawk picked up her car, picked up your car, and claiming, I can't walk, and my back hurts, and all this other stupid lying nonsense. But let's continue. Don't leave yet, Rev. Stick around, because we're going to talk about what I did for you, you bum, and what I did for your bum woman, okay? Let's get into this here a minute, okay? And by the way, I will cool down when I'm done, okay? So let me get this straight here. You come to Pennsylvania broke. You come there bragging about all the money that you made on social media. Look at all the money I made through the road trip. Those people are so stupid. Look at what they made on the road trip. We made a thousand plus dollars. Then you got mad when they flagged your uh your 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 your, 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 your cash because you was too stupid to get your money off of it. You were too stupid to get your money off of it. So what are you doing? <laughs> man. Don't worry about it. What's your cash app? You're going out there begging strangers for money? G-Man cash app you. G-Man ain't rich. G-Man ain't coming to no $750,000. G-Man wasn't no spoiled brat. G-Man, G-Man was poor. G-Man could tell you stories. You talking about some ramen noodles, dude. You lucky you had that. I was eating mustard sandwiches sometimes if I had that for dinner. Okay, you ain't lived yet until you got flour and water and you got to put a teeny weeny bit of syrup on it and call that dinner, dude. Don't even go there with me that. Okay, don't even go there. But anyway, not only did I feed you two, not only did I support your habit of Delta eight and believe me, that went into the thousands. Okay, not only did I pay for your tobacco, not only did I provide a place for you to live, not only did I feed you, but I even kept you two together. I took care of your responsibility as a man to feed your to feed Shani's kids, okay, to feed you, to feed that Barracuda. And believe me, it took a lot of money to feed that overstuffed Barracuda. What about when she gave me the PS5 and I gave it right back to her and told her you're going to need it because you're going to need to make some money? Pennies? Pennies? Not to mention you lived there for almost two years for free when I could have easily requested seventeen dollars to $2,000 a month for rent. Are you crazy? I was only in that house the first time for a whopping three months. You was there for almost two years. But that's neither here nor there. You're like, well, gee, man, look at all of the games we gave you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he gave me an EverDrive. He gave me a, a, a GameCube, and he gave me a Nintendo 64. Don't run, Rev. Stick around for this part. I think you're going to find this part to be very interesting. Only because I don't feel like bringing it here. Rev, let me tell you something, dude. Maybe I'll do a video in the future and actually show you what my real inventory looks like in terms of actual games. Maybe I'll actually show you the real inventory. Because what you're talking about, Junior, that was then. What I got now was something totally, totally. To First of all, I got about six or seven PS4s. I got uh, 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 maybe three PS5s. I have... I have a couple of Nintendo 64s. I have a listen to me. All that stuff you that that that, that I got from you, I kind of doubled and tripled that since then. And no, I didn't go out there and go on the internet and and and, and order. No, 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 no. I'm a smart person. I use my head. I know how to get this stuff for next to nothing. 
Now, do I have the lightsabers? Of course I do. But according to you, in the Minnesota Barracuda, there's a reason why I have these things, Rev. And you, you didn't give these things to me to the for the kindness of your own heart. See, now you're changing your story. And this is when we got to get to the next video. Oh, by the way, Rev, I have something I want to show you. You know how you guys have to brag about watermelon? And by the way, I haven't seen watermelon on camera in a while. It's always Gavin. You guys haven't been talking about watermelon much. I hope watermelon's okay, because I would love to introduce watermelon to this little guy right here, who I would never call watermelon. I would never do that, because you're so adorable. Right? Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. This is my baby, yeah. That's my baby. But anyway, Raph, um, <laughs> let's take a look at the Twitch days here real quick, because I think you're going to find this to be pretty interesting, you lying sack of barracuda dung. All right. So let's go to here we go. Shani and Rev reupload the death sentence from G-Man, which is about three minutes and some change. Because This is where it all started, where I no longer wanted to help you. I told you guys really simple, Rev. I told you guys, I said, all you had to do is keep the place clean. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I kind of forgot. There was there, there's a couple other things I did for these guys. Oh, see, screen sharing will make you forget things. You guys see that thing that's behind me? Let me remove myself from the room so that you guys can see that. Who do you think fixed that? It wasn't his uncle. It wasn't YouTubers. It was me who fixed this. I was told that somebody from YouTube came over there and destroyed their tires. They had their children telling me. And yeah, Rev, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go there because I'm about to bring the brats into this. Okay? You had your children. I'm sorry, not you, Rev, because you ain't got no children because you, no, you ain't no parent. Okay? That other person who claims to be a parent had her children tell me, I heard somebody in the backyard slashing the tires, and that's how it happened. Meanwhile, that one woman, what was her name? One bad itch. Uh, 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 myself. And No, 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 not myself. I wish I can tell you guys a person's name who actually, who, who was the first person I heard talk about this dry rot stuff that you guys was talking about on here. When I brought the person over there to change the tire for him and whatnot, he was the one that came over there and said that the tire was dry rotted. And, and 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 it couldn't have been that. He actually showed me the pin that was stuck inside the tire. But they told me that somebody on YouTube did it. And I got on here and I went on a threatening spree. Because I believe that nonsense. So I paid for your tire. I helped you get the, the, the Cadillac that you actually had because you needed some money. Because you know your broke behind wasn't going to go work anywhere to go get it or whatever. I don't know how many different times I sent gas over, uh, how many times I gave you money to pay for gas for the Durango and for the Cadillac. And again, to support your habit that you two have. The only reason you want those games back is because you want to go get high. You want to go get your fix on. That's the only reason you want them, not knowing that nobody will buy them from you. You're not going to be able to send them anywhere. Anyway, let's continue. So. According to you, Rev, you gave me these things from the kindness of your own heart. Rev, are we forgetting about all the racial slurs that I was getting when you kicked me out of there the first time? You guys lying and saying you gave it to the Salvation Army. You guys getting on here and telling lies about this and lying about that and lying about this and lying about that. And then give me the house. And then on the day that you guys move out, what did you say? You said, and to think, we thought we was going to be able to frustrate you into giving us back the house. That definitely sounds like a shanty plan. The way you guys was damaging the house and I had to fix the door all over and over and over again. I had to fix the walls over and over and over again. It got so bad that I had to put cameras inside the house to make sure that I found out who did what in there. Are you going to lie and say I didn't have cameras there, Rev? I can always play some of the footage, although it's boring. You're not going to hear anything, but I can prove I had cameras in there. You don't want to go there with me. All right. So don't give me this nonsense that you just did this for the kindness of your own heart. On the day that you left, Rev, you told me to throw away all them clothes. You know, those two or three uh, construction bags of clothes that you two were too lazy to go to the laundromat. I mean, it was so bad that a black man had to go out there and wash your clothes for you. 
because you were too lazy to go to the laundromat, even though there was a washing machine right in the basement. You told me to throw this stuff in the garbage. Because why? Because you wanted to be a minimalist. All the shanty stuff, throw it away. All of your stuff, throw it away. Because you wanted to be a minimalist. You don't have nothing because you're a dumb. And you don't know how to take care of your stuff. But what I understand, and the reaction people will understand is better than me, when you left one place, you left all of your stuff there. Actually, I kind of do know about this because in Scranton, they did the same thing. You know what I mean? I mean, she got him out of the house so fast. His driver's license, I don't know how they pulled that off, but his driver's license and everything was on the table. But anyway, you left one place in Colorado to go to another place in Colorado and you left everything uh, out in the open for people to... Um, for, for, for people to take or whatever or whatever. And you decide to start all over because, you know, you had money and you didn't have to uh, 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 pay a U-Haul or, or pay movers to take the stuff that you have from there to your to your new place. And we know that you're lying about those things because XX Archive, because of Fat Courtney Love, as much as I hate to give these people any credit whatsoever, the Geek Room, Dragnut, and some of these other people in here who have exposed you into the ever-living, has exposed the ever-living daylights out of you guys. Ooh, I feel dirty giving them credit. Ah, oh, I feel dirty giving them keep room credit for anything. Anyway, so, but they expose the snot out of you guys. Then there's Carrie, who's finishing off what's left of you. You understand what I'm saying? So, then I offered you back your house and you didn't want to take it. I've been offering you back some of your stuff and you didn't want to take it. Now, all of a sudden, you got some liquid courage and you want to get on here and say, gee, man, I demand this. And I, I mean, for crying out loud, how many months was it ago, audience? How many months ago was it that I showed up there in person? Pocket full of money, candy, was going to take Rev out the food to get food. And Shandy said no. See, G-Man has never been the enemy, Rev. Shani is the enemy. And, and I gave you a response. I don't expect a, re a, a response because this is called a first round knockout. You threw your little air punch at me and I'm knocking you out right now. This is how you take care of business. But I want you to hear this come out of your own disgusting, living barracuda's mouth herself. There is a reason why me and her aren't friends anymore. Because she refuses to take responsibility for anything. And she believes she can say whatever she wants to me. Really? Let's continue, ladies and gents. Back on our journey of the stupidity that is Shani for doofus. Okay? Shani for Satan. Shani for sin. Shani for domestic violence against Rev. And Rev, I dare you to say she never put her hands on you. Because I'll put a video on here with you telling everybody that she put her hands on you. All right? Now, where is it? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, it, the death sentence. Okay, here we go. Let's start off with this. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gents. <laughs> I don't care. It's a lot I don't more care. Than it was. I don't care. Now they're in a hotel. They got a roof over their head. G Man was taking care of them. He just had to get surgery. Uh, 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 and in about a week, everything went, went back to normal. They couldn't take care of themselves for one week. You know what, Shannon, looking back at the days where you're like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to get G-Man one day. And you can't even take care of yourself for a week. And you call yourself a first wave fe feminist. <laughs> I'd have let me tell you something. I'm not red. I would have took you by your three teeth and I would have threw you out in the street. Don't you, don't you even go there with me, okay? Anyway, let's continue. A lot more stable. So it was Come on, yes, Shannon. I got things to do. Come on. Speed it up. Let me see if I can speed this up somehow. I don't got time for this. How do you do this, man? So, um. I ain't got time for this. I just want to say this is probably my last broadcast ever. Here we go. Ever to make. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. But me and Jason are about to be fully, fully, fully on the streets. 
and I need Oh, and by the way, the, the real reason Shani and Rev got kicked out of um uh the uncle's house, and I know a lot of you know this, but in case there's a one or the two strandlers that's out there that don't know about this, the real reason they got kicked out of the uncle's house the first time is because A Rev couldn't shut his mouth and be humble and realize he didn't have money no more. And then number two, Rev didn't want to work. Shani didn't want to work, and ain't nobody in their right mind going to allow you to live in their house for too long unless you got a job and you can contribute. Hint, 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 hint. Right now, because I'm scared to death because it's pretty much Gmail gave me a death sentence. That's how I feel. I've been served a death sentence. Because I know I can't sit right. By the way, this video was made in 2022. It's 2024, and clearly this liar is still alive. Let's continue. I, I know I can't sit like normal people, or I get really, really, really bad. At None of that's actually true. You do sit down like a normal person. You've done it in a car. We watch you picked up a car. We watch you do all this other stuff. And when I stop lying, woman. And that increases my risk of a stroke very bad. And I know it's going to happen this time because it almost happened. In Underhaven, okay. When I Underhaven, was, too. When we drove out to Pennsylvania from Colorado, my legs swell. Like, e even CPS saw it, like, for two hours of me just sitting, just talking to the boys. Of my that is not swelling. That is called body fat. Get that through your head. I know Google can't tell you everything, Shani. That is not swelling. It's called body fat. Like swelling double its size. And me not being able to walk very well because of it. And he doesn't care. At the end of the day, he doesn't care. How did you get to the uncle house? Did you crawl? Did you fly? Did you burrow underground? Like, how did you get there? Oh, I know you walked, but you can't walk, right? You liar. If I die of edema he doesn't care he doesn't care yeah yeah definitely i'm got I mean, me getting surgery me not being able to work it shows i don't care yeah you're right about that one you are so stupid it's not even funny shannon anyway let's continue he'd rather he'd rather go on he'd rather take the house that we gave him out of the kind of our house. No, 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 no. It was not out of the kindness of your own heart. Shani, if you want to be technical, I'm not talking to Rev no more. You called me the N-word on multiple occasions. You was branded a racist on the internet. You call life of a free spirit the N-word. And you and you and, and there's a video that exists that says you're not sorry for calling people the N-word. You said I deserved it. That's what you did. And you thought by giving me one of the reasons why you gave me that house is that that red gave me the house because you dummies thought that if you gave me the house, people would stop looking at you as being a racist. You are dumb, stupid, uneducated and need to go back to school or something and stop treating people on here like they're stupid. Hearts, even though we knew we were going to be homeless. That's not my fault. How is that my fault? Well, actually, actually, no, 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 no. It is my fault. You want to know why? Because I got that charm. No, actually, it's not my fault. Because you couldn't do nothing with the house anyway, especially when you learned you had about 20, 25 grand. I don't think it was 25, but it was definitely about 20 grand in back taxes that had to be paid, which I paid. You know, that whole $1, right? That $1. Y'all so st Anyway. And, and he'd rather rent the place out so he can get money to sue Dragnaught than to save his own sister's life. And I'm supposed to not be angry about this. I'm supposed to not be scared about this. No, actually what you're supposed to do is go in the bathroom in that hotel and get that dog doodle, I'm sorry, the cat doodle -doo out of the bathtub and actually get it up there and get out of that tub and actually start bathing. That's what you were supposed to do. But let's continue. I'm supposed to feel this way of not being scared when I know I'm going to die sitting in the car because I can't, I have to keep my legs elevated or I'll get a blood clot. Uh, that's a, and that, ladies and gentlemen, has been found to be a lie. I'm laughing, Shannon, because you He gave it. me a death sentence that he doesn't care. He doesn't fucking care. I know this mess must have worked on your mother, your father. It must have worked on, you know, your cousins and your and, and your nieces and, and, and your nephews. It must have must have worked on all of those people. I know it worked on some YouTubers. It worked on me for a little bit. It worked on Hannah Stout. It worked on uh, Brett Keen and a few other people and whatnot. But you want to know what? This garbage gets kind of old after a while, Shani. Get a job. 
Just so he could sue fucking Dragnaught. Which I decided not to do. Like when that guy was homeless? I was never homeless. When that guy and if you would have took your Ritalin that day, you would have realized I wasn't homeless. In a place. We gave him so much to help him. Really? What did you give me? You know, you two have yet to show any proof for any of this. I'm the only person walking around here, apparently with PayPal, where I can show people the historicity of what you actually gave, which is which is nowhere near what I did for you. But that's neither here nor there, because this is not about who gave who the most or whatever. This got to do with you trying to be a manipulator. Now, this video is over. This is not the video I thought it was, but there's another video that exists where they, 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 they talk about G-Man's helping, G-Man helping. We gave G-Man that stuff for rent. Now, that's what they're saying. I would have argued that they gave me that stuff out of the kindness of their own heart. But then Shani got on YouTube and said that she gave it for rent. So let me, and, and by the way, now we're going to go back to StreamYard here because this is the epic ponage that you're going to get now, Shani. Because I want to make sure I understand this here correctly. You're basically demanding your rent back. You, you, I mean, you said that the reason why I got them games to begin with is so, so that you guys can stay there. Please enlighten me. How do you go to your old landlord and say, I demand my rent back? That doesn't make any sense to me at all. And Rev, I thought you wanted to be a minimalist. Now you want to be a Republican again and you want to be somebody that actually accumulates things again? I thought you was a comedy. I thought you was an open comedy. Like, I'm a little confused about what you are, dude. See, I think on the days you smoke cigarettes, you're a comedy. Because you can't get, no, 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 I'm sorry. When you can't get your cigarettes, you can't get your weed, and you can't get your beer, you're a commie. When you can get a little bit, then you're kind of republic republic a little bit. But then when you when when when, when Shani gives you the booty, then you're a Democrat, right? Like, like it always fluctuates, I think, or whatever, right? Alex Jones would be, would be embarrassed to ever have known you if he was listening to you talk today, dude. But anyway, let's continue. Uh no, I will not be giving you the Nintendo 64. I will not be giving you an EverDrive, but I can tell you where you can get it from. I have this wonderful app on my phone uh, here, uh, 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 Shani. Um, just give me a second here. The only reason I don't play all these other videos on here, guys, is because who really wants to sit through all of those videos again, right? I don't want to do all of that. I'll let Carrie do that if Carrie wants to, but I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. But uh, let me see. Um, where is my little app here? Hold on. Here's my little app. I'm going to show you this one. Okay, this is called Timu. Go on Timu and you can buy Ever Drives there. You can also go to Amazon and get them there. Simply ask your uncle to give you some money so that you can go get those things. But G-Man, we want you to give, we want you to give your money. So that, I already tried doing that, Junior. And you and the last time I saw you, your woman called me the N-word to my face, told me she didn't want no scrub. A scrub gives no love from her sitting at the passenger side of the sitting at the passenger side of the best friend's ride, trying to holler at her and all the other garbage and whatnot. And you both told me to get lost. Then you made YouTube videos saying that I was stalking you. Then when you got high a little bit and you got some liquid courage or whatever, and when you were really wanting that weed or whatever, you called me on my phone and tried to make up with me again or whatever, and you gave me the same nonsense, right? I'm done with you two. I am done. Done. Finished. Kaput. Want nothing to do with either of you no more. You made your bed. Now, guess what? Now. Some people might say, G-Man, well, that, that that's not really Christ-like, G-Man, because, you know, when Shani and them threw you out, you had a certain amount of time to be out, and um, and people helped you, and they donated and whatnot. See, there's a, there is a big difference between myself and them. You see, when I asked for donations to move out, I actually moved out. I actually moved out. Whereas these guys are asking for donations for what? They're practically homeless, and they want their video games. It's been, what is it? It's been two years since they've been out of there. If it's been two years, and that means they have been in Pennsylvania for about three, three and a half years, I would say, right? In the three and a half years that they have been in Pennsylvania, they have yet to ask for rent and security to move out. Have you guys noticed that? See, right, when you were standing there with your little Ravens t-shirt 
and you were standing there with your little shirt tied around your little waist and whatnot, and you were showing off your bones that you call arms and everything and whatnot, dude. I got guns, you know what I mean? I got I got pythons, and you got sticks you call arms or whatever, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, you're sitting there, you're trying to make a show and trying to be all dramatic and everything and whatnot, dude. You tell everybody you're destitute, but you want video games. You know, I also still have that Nintendo Switch. But, Rev, I have something else, Rev. And if you look on Skype, you can see what I said. And if you go look on your phone, you'll see what I said. I have a red cell phone. That cell phone belonged to Zachary. That phone, at least from what you told me, was about a thousand plus dollars for that phone. I made a YouTube video telling you I would give you back your phone. But you want to know what you did? You made a YouTube video asking for video games because you're destitute and you're looking at homelessness. Rev, has anybody ever talked to you like this before, Rev? Be a man, go back to Burger King, go get some chapstick, put it on your lips, get on your hands and knees and beg for your job back because you, my friend, are going to have to work for everything that you get from this point forward. You got to work to keep your barracuda. You got to work to eat. You're going to have to work to pay rent and you're going to have to start doing what all of us adults had to do. Pretty much for the, you know, for, for the duration of our um, adult life. You spoil brat. I am not handing out no more freebies. All right. If you want to improve your life, get a job, get an application. Your woman bragged about what she would do if the money ran out. She said she would get a job. You won't talk to her about that. You won't talk about the black eye that you got from her. You won't talk about how she beat you up and punched a snot out of you. You won't talk about how you got to beg for cookies. You won't talk about none of this stuff. But you, but you man enough to step to me, call me out again and I'll show up over there. And you know I will. You call me out one more time and you'll get a visit from me. And I will not be bringing any video games for me. I'm going to call your bluff. Be a good little rev. Do what you're told by, by the real man of the house, and that's Shanny. Let her smack you around when you don't do what you're told and keep telling everybody how you love being beaten up by a woman. And maybe I'll give you some ramen afterwards. Goofball. Anyway, that's my response. The answer is no. I'm not going to give you any games. I'm not being a demonic Christian by not giving you video games. I don't believe you need video games because you're destitute. I believe you need rent and security. And I believe the only way you're going to get rent and security if you get a job. Your uncle's going to throw you out of that house, Rev. It's only a matter of time. And you are on borrowed time. You are on board. I, I thought I was going to keep you guys there forever. But you want to know what? Bills are bills at the end of the day. You know nothing about that. And if you knew how close you was to be throwing out that house, you wouldn't be making video of uh, making videos talking about what video games you want. You want to play a game? I hear you got that Obama phone. Go to Play Store, download Chess or Checkers, and play that on your little phone. That's what you do. I had to do it, so you do it. Actually. I can do a lot better than uh, an app on my phone, you know? So, and I think I pretty much covered everything. Let's talk about the audience here real quick. Let's see if anybody disagrees with me because perhaps somebody in my audience is telling me I'm being mean and they're telling me I should give it to you. Let's count how many people are saying that I should give you your stuff, Rev. Because certainly Gucci trolls can come here right now and put me in my place. Gucci trolls, you're the only supporter they have in the world. Can you please, can you please come over here and talk some sense to me? Let's see. Underhaven says an Obama phone. Uh, 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 this person says school this. G-Man is keeping it 50, okay, by Underhaven. Uh, they're telling them to go support uh, your wife's uh, eating habits. Ian says $1.50. Keeping it 50. All right, let me see something here. 
It's not a sin, G man. Trust me, you're fine with God. Okay, cool, cool. Gotcha. Um, uh, let me see something here. He's a trans guy. <laughs> Rev, you're pathetic. You're just so pathetic, dude. When I when 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 I first heard about you, it was truth movement. Now, I mean, Shandy destroyed you so much that you're a commie now. I'm gonna make sure I find Alex Jones and show him your uh and show him your um your 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 uh your 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 page over there so we can all laugh at you. Anyway, so let me see here. Um Shani did do you uh, did did you dirty you there with the death sentence thing? Yep, she sure did. Some people got some popcorn here. Get them, G man. Uh, let's see something here. So anyway, nobody's supporting you here, ladies, uh, uh, Rev. Nobody agrees with you that you should receive your video games. Nobody is here saying, give you back your video games. They're not your video games because if Shani was, 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 was telling the truth, which we all know she wasn't, but anyway, let's assume she was, G-Man, we gave that stuff to you to pay rent. What kind of an idiot goes to their landlord and says, give me back my rent. And this is what I'm dealing with. If I had listened to Jason Burns years ago, I would not be going through any of this. I wouldn't be going through any of this. As a matter of fact, if I would have listened to some of the atheists, uh, uh, and I hate to say this because this is the one of the few times they were right. They were all saying, gee, man, whatever you do, don't take anything from her. And I'm like, this woman's giving me a house. I said, like, what the heck are you talking about? Don't do it, gee, man. Don't do it, gee, man. <laughs> I remember that, man. I look so stupid now. It's not even funny. I got to laugh at myself. Like I said, it's all good. It's all good. Rev, my answer is no. Get a job. And I'll tell you what I will do for you, though. The next time I'm playing with the other drives, I will think about you, Rev. And when I'm playing with my Nintendo 64, I will think about you. And when I'm using my lightsabers to fight the Sith Lords that are out there, I will think about you. Does that make you happy? Let's go Knicks. Going to the playoffs this year. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go Giants. So anyway. Wait a minute. He was wearing a skirt. Let me see something here. Hold on a minute. Is that a skirt? Wait a minute. Is that a skirt? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you wear a skirt? In the video, see, I wasn't even looking at all of that. So, 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 Rev. Um, okay, how do I say this here? Because you know, this is YouTube. So you're finally admitting that you have a mangina, and you have lady parts. Okay, Rev, you go, dude. You go. You keep letting your doctor, Shanny for sin, Shanny for doo doo, keep telling you how to dress and how to behave, dude. Keep doing it. That, she ain't the one destroying your manhood at this point. You're destroying your manhood. And like I said, Rev, don't call me out no more. Because if you do, the second I it's the second I can prove to the police that you told me to come over there, I'm gonna come. And you want to know what you're gonna do? Yes, Mr. G, man. Yes, Mr. G. Because the second you talk like this in, in person, I'm gonna show people the real Rev. And we both know what I'm talking about here. All right. Weak one. Anyway, so. <laughs> okay, maybe I should torture the audience a little bit. Let me see if I got this, this, this uh, video here. Do I still have it or did I delete it? Because I got tired of looking at her like that. Do I still have this? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I got to do this to you. But this is how we're going to end the video. First, we're going to play this video. G-Man, consider yourself evicted. You won't talk to me. You won't listen to me. You're continuing to do this fucking tirade. Consider yourself evicted. Get the fuck out of my house. Pack your shit and go. Now. G-Man. Then there's this video. And I'm sorry for doing this to all of you ladies and gents, but uh, I wouldn't be me unless I did it. You know, many people have said I'm really, really fat, but I look at myself 
And I'm like, damn, girl, you have made progress. Made a lot of progress. And frankly, I don't think I look bad in my tummy. And I think it's going down more and more and more. Frankly. Frankly. So, basically, 